93 everybody, Granny here, and I'm just uh, vlogging once more to uh, have my little update on the present projects that are happening on this channel and, and uh, outside this channel. Um, the last couple of weeks have been kind of weird over here in, uh, in Granny Land, but, um, but you know, things are picking up. It's going to be a, an interesting next couple of months, and certainly when spring hits, uh, I think you'll be seeing quite a bit of activity here. Um, as most of you know, there's a lecture coming up next week, so that's going to go up as well. But uh, I'm going to try to be doing some more uh, more short videos than um, than I have been, certainly. Uh, with my work schedule, I haven't been able to do much stand-up lately, or any stand-up actually lately. So I'm going to try to pour my energy into making a few more funny monologues. Uh, something to counterbalance a lot of the seriousness and drama that's been happening on this channel lately. Uh, which I love the seriousness and drama and the creepy videos in the dark. But, um, but, you know, I like to strike a balance and keep things flowing along in a more interesting kind of way. Uh, the last video I did, Prayer, um, I'm still not totally satisfied with. It's not exactly what I want it to be, but I don't actually have the, the set or the, the technology to make it into exactly what I want it to be. Because I have a very clear picture of the, the end game for this particular video. So this is just another interpretation of it. I wanted it to be on the channel. I wanted to delete the original... Uh, that I had, A, because it generated so much bizarre feedback from people who really didn't understand it, and everyone's like, oh yeah, fuck God, it's like, uh, you have no idea what I'm about, or what I'm trying to say here, clearly, clearly. But at the same time, it was the first video that I put up, it was a very low quality camera, it was really just my shitty old regular digital camera, it wasn't even like a proper video camera, um, shitty sound quality the rest of it, so, you know, um, I'm not too sad to see that particular video go, but uh, I wanted to have those words on here in some capacity. Uh, some people have asked me why I don't put more production value into those videos, and that's because, uh, to me, this is strictly about the words. I'm not interested in weird little musical interludes or sound effects or weird camera angles, there's no cinematography going to be involved, no special effects, none of that bullshit, it's about the words. But it's not enough for me to like put them down in written form because I find, especially with my poetry, it, it doesn't really translate that way. You really need to, to hear it. It is made to be uh, vocalized. It's the whole sort of point behind it. So it doesn't really work just on paper. Uh, I show people my poems on paper and they have a completely different reaction than when they actually hear them. Uh, and I think that's very significant. Um, as some of you know, I had a musical project going on in 2004-2005, which kind of abruptly ended when my house burned down and destroyed all the equipment that I had. Uh, I had completely, like, barely touched a musical instrument since then, uh, up until a couple weeks ago, and sort of starting to get back into that, uh, try to rebuild my equipment that I had and um, sort of uh, restart that project, reinvigorate it, and... Uh, use what I've learned in the meantime to actually make it happen. Uh, right now all I have is an electric and a bass guitar and their pickups are completely fucked. They survived the fire but they were smoke damaged. I had them cleaned out but they kind of go off and on now so I may have to get new ones. I may just get them repaired. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. We're going to have to look at the expenses but the main thing I need right now is a keyboard because that's where most of my flow is going right now. Um, and I don't think I'll be taking on partners for this project. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be me, although we'll see what happens. I have a hard time writing with other people or working with other people in any capacity in terms of creative projects for that matter. I mean, I'll take editorial advice, but I usually just kind of wipe my ass with it and throw it away. Uh, Writing-wise, you will be seeing certainly um, there's more progress going on in the, on the novel that I'm working on right now, uh, which if I finish will be the first of a trilogy and um, Phoenix which I've kind of been kicking around with for a while uh, I really want to put my back into actually trying to get that out there but um, it's a arduous process and we'll see what happens uh, I, I've been hampered quite a bit lately because uh, one of my laptops the one my major the one that I use for most well both my laptops the keyboards are completely fucked but I finally got an external keyboard for one of them so I'm actually going to be able to write people letters and letters of cover letters and stuff like that uh, without them being all broken up and spaced. I don't even understand how that works, why that happens. But then again, I'm completely technologically retarded, so that could be why. Um, 
unfortunately, <laughs> the good 70 computer sized pages of the novel that I do have now are written in this kind of broken up way. So I'm essentially going to have to retype the entire thing. I tried copying and pasting it, I tried importing it, I tried doing all this other stuff with it, but actually I'm looking forward to that because I think retyping it will help me with the editorial process, help me root myself in the story again and, and get my head back there again because I really haven't worked on it in the last couple months. Um, so that will reinvigorate that and you'll be seeing sections of that definitely on my blog and whatnot. Uh, also I should say for those of you who are tuning in for the occult portion of this channel, um, I don't know if you are on my uh, blog, uh, starchamber007.livejournal.com, uh, but uh, I keep uh, regular progress reports on the magical workings that I do that I don't uh, really put out for public consumption for obvious reasons. Um, well, actually, no, they're probably not the reasons that you might think are obvious. I don't actually care who knows that I'm into this stuff or uh, who knows what I do. I care that the people who are watching it and reading it are actually invested in watching it and reading it. So uh, in terms of the actual meat of the workings that I do and the results of the workings that I do, I keep that locked. So if you want to see that stuff, you're welcome to it, but you've got to start a live journal account and get on my friends list, and then you can see it. And um, I like to make people work for this shit because too many people are out there trying to hand, hand it to people. And usually when there's someone trying to hand it something to you, and, or even push it at you in certain cases, hey, check this out, check this out. Most of the time it's crap, and it's not actually saying anything. Like, the amount of people out there who claim to be into ceremonial magic and are not producing, well, I don't know what their workings are, I don't know what the results are, they never write about it, they never talk about it. So, you know, I do write about it, and I do talk about it, and uh, I write about my failures, I write about my successes, and I write about some things that you might think would make me, would completely discount me. I mean, sometimes I fuck up epically. Uh, for those, those of you who've been following the last four weeks of my uh, Amun Ra working, uh, there was a, some serious bumps in the third week and some serious uh, serious problems that caused problems for me and problems for the working itself. But, you know, I record those too because that's important. Because if you do this stuff at all, you will fuck up. And anyone who pretends that there's a safe way to do it without ever fucking up or without ever losing your mind a little bit, that person's lying or stupid and probably both. Uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, creatively, it's been a tight squeeze. I'm working all the time, kind of, but at the same time, I find I do find time to work on my notebooks and get my stuff in order and figure out what I'm trying to do, organize my life a little bit. Now I'm finally all set up in this place. Oh, oh! Since the last time, we haven't really taken a proper tour. All right, so we're gonna have to like ditch the cool lights for a sec. But we'll let, let's look at the cool lights first. Bah, sweet altar space. Very sweet. Milk crate bookshelf. Key. Wall of television. This is very important to me. Because I spend a great deal of time looking at this shit. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm a writer, man. I like stories. And I like watching my stories sometimes. Or a lot of the time, actually. If they're good. This is the Shrine to Amun-Ra. Um... Uh, it's being outfitted now according to the gods' instructions. It's going to take a little bit of time and a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of money to fully realize that. But um, well, you know what? I got the time and I will have the money. Hi. Check this out. So I figured out. Uh, I did my staircase here as like a bookshelf that you can walk up. There's little spaces so you can walk up the bookshelf. So that's pretty awesome, right? And. Um, out here, my little writing area, um, because there's no electrical outlets here, so there's no way that I can distract myself with electronic toys and computers and shit. Just me and my notebooks, which is awesome. Yes. Um, these are the only... I don't do posters anymore, really, but I, I thought that this was a nice touch. A very nice touch. Alright, well, I think that's enough of me for now. 93, and you'll hear from me soon.